So I'm also not going to Starbucks anymore. But I have my Nespresso machine. And I actually have Starbucks Espresso pods. Now the Nespresso machine is pretty cool because they're aluminum pods and they're recyclable. You can just drop them off or mail them back to Nespresso. I drop them off. Um, so it's not quite the same as getting a nice espresso poured out of a $10,000 machine, but um, my $100 machine provides me the caffeine I need. What do you think? You want to make coffee? Let's make coffee. How do we do that? Well, you know what? It's all rock locked and loaded. We just got to push the button. And there it goes. Look at that coffee brewing. Smells good. Another day of quarantine. Well, I don't call it that. Everybody else seems to think it is, but basically I'm going to actually go out to Fred Meyer right now. Check out the shelves. It was pretty well stocked yesterday, except for this view of the cat supply aisle and the paper product aisle. We'll check it out again today. Trader Joe's was well stocked. I picked up some groceries for my daughter. She's she and her husband are staying in with their baby. I'm working from home. This is the new thing. You know, basically my work from home environment is just one half of what I had at work. Um, I have to use a company provided laptop with all the appropriate software installed. And then I just hooked up one of my spare terminals to get the bigger screen. Hooked up my Microsoft ergonometric keyboard. It's brand new, so it works really well. Um, got my Bluetooth speaker. Of course, I got my trusty MacBook Air, which is I do all my vlogging work on. Um, I'm going to do a vlog today. Work at home. When we send email to each other to saying we're staying home, we use the abbreviation WFH, working from home. I'm adding UFN to that now, until further notice. So, a bummer. They closed the gym finally. I was swimming last week, all week long in the mornings. They finally closed it, so I have a pool myself, but it's only like 40 feet long. I need 25 meter length pools to do my workout in. But yeah, I could do a workout in it, but it's still cold here in Oregon. And I'm not heating it. It's like it's it's um what four or five degrees centigrade, 38 degrees Fahrenheit air temperature right now. It does warm up into the high 50s, low 60s, but uh, um, it's not so conducive to outdoor swimming in a pool. But sometime soon I will heat that pool up and start doing some underwater work, trying to increase the breath capacity again. Um, I do have an upcoming trip, but I'm going to keep that secret. Did I see what Hawaiian Airlines has to do with this whole thing? The airline industry, I just don't know how they're going to survive. Well, the way they're going to survive is that we have a 
We actually have quite a bit of socialism here in America, contrary to popular belief. It's corporate socialism. We send a lot of money to the corporations to keep them afloat. And that has a beneficial aspect to it, keeping people employed. But during a, a shutdown such as this, well, I'm not sure that that formula actually makes any sense anymore. So they're going to have to make some inroads into actual socialism to uh, keep this economy afloat. I don't have much hope that it will be. Although my job is a secondary tier tool, software tool provider to a semiconductor industry. Semiconductor industry could get hit pretty severely. Um, but they always seem to keep buying software tools and the latest versions of things. And so as long as we keep improving our tool set, um, there's a demand for the tools. That's what I do all day long. The other thing about working from home is that since this is on 24 hours a day, I actually do shut it down, but it's on many more hours than, a, than, a, than I'd usually spend at work. I could be doing 15 hour days and I don't even know it. I just keep working. Get up, get some exercise, go do a chore, eat some food, walk by, see what the status of some tests are, write some more code, test it some more, release it. So productivity is actually probably a little bit higher. Um, oh, that's too dark. Let's go into the kitchen here. Um, productivity is pretty high, I think. Um, for me, anyway, it's um, a little bit more problematic because you always want to be able to talk to people. OK, I'm going to do a postal errand. Put some stuff in the mailbox, deposit a check. For some reason, this company sent me money. That's OK with me. One of my favorite mantras. Companies and organizations just love to give me money. He's waiting for it to warm up so that he can go outside. Casa de Carmela. And I refer to myself sometimes as the maintenance man and chief engineer at Casa de Carmela. I also sometimes have duties as the executive chef. All right, let's hit the road. looking for this for a long time. We don't have a mixer. All right. I fulfilled my mission. Oh, they have more expensive ones. Probably because they're in color. Sale price, $34.99. All right. Well, this is one of my favorite aisles. Got your lobster art. That's a pretty nice photograph, actually. We got a jungle parrot. That would go really good in the bedroom. That's one thing I've never done is swam with the dolphins. I will maybe someday. Oh, this looks pretty good actually. The 
two piece frame set. Let's really see what it looks like. Because they got this thing over the top of it. That is a very nice Japanese garden picture of an old maple. Very nice. This is a pretty nice thing to add to anyone's home. Turkish Indian, American Indian motif. Probably not for my home. Oh. Now, I've always dreamed of riding a llama. That one's all ready to go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, uh... Dragonfly. Not bad. Well, nothing on this aisle. Let's try the next one. During the metagraphic shutdown, all of my fake plants that I have in there will do quite well. Here's one. 30% off. $15. About $10 for that. These are very nicely done. This one's pretty nice. That one's pretty nice. That's going to cost $10, 30% off. So that's like $7. Still too expensive. So they got these stone birds. I think, I don't know why. Here's a plant. Sitting off by its lonesome. 30% off. And it's $8. So 80 times 3, that's $2.40 off. Uh, that's about 6 bucks. It's not bad. I'm going to get that one. That'll be in my new dining room table office, which I've started growing a magnificent set of plants there also. Nearly over. 
not getting your picture. I'm just gonna get this picture. You can get a picture. Thanks, man. No worries. It's a beautiful day. Whoa. I need slow-mo. Yeah. Alright, time to get back to home office.